Hey, it's Lynette here from TechBaseMarketing.com. In this video, I'm going to walk you through something that is very often requested, and it's this. Now, sometimes you may have a page that appears in your navigation bar, like it does here. And when you go to a page, which is where I am right now, uh, you will see this up here as well. Now, depending on how you work things, you may not like this being here. So you want to have this out. You don't want to show the page title, um, but you still want this to appear here. So what some people try to do uh, is they go to the page and they simply try to take out the title. Uh, but when you do that and you update it, guess what happens? Well, your navigation is also lost and that's absolutely not what you want to to do so let's put this back for now. now what I normally do to tackle this situation I really really love it is to use page templates in fact I use page templates a lot and I use it extensively because it's so cool you know you can do so many different things with it um, and to create a page template is not difficult it's it's actually a very a easy process and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it right now now what I have here is something called PSPAD. Now I use it to, it is my preferred tool to to edit, to code, and, and all that stuff. It's basically just a souped up uh, notepad. Okay, you can use notepad, you can use uh, any tool that you're most comfortable with as long as it's a basic text editor. You know, it's not um, any kind of WYSIWYG editor or anything like that which tries to add extra code in, in what you're trying to do. But I have it here and what I need to do is I need to find in my theme, okay, in my theme folder I need to look for the page, page.php. Okay, and what I'm going to do is basically clone this page first of all. So I'm going to save this as, um, I'm going to save this as page underscore uh, no title because that's what I want want to do right now. Now you can name this anything, but generally I like my page templates to also have uh, to have a page underscore preceding it because that way I can know when I look at my list of files I know what it, what's which you know. So I save it and um, just to make sure here, let me refresh my list of files and there it is and this is the one that's open right now and in this particular in this new file that I just created uh, what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to add this code on the very top of the file uh, in between the PHP tags okay make sure that's in between these tags if you wanted to you could also uh, instead of just doing it that way like what I've done you can also do create well it depends on how your theme is made really you can also do that and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste this particular uh, code in there it's it's really simple code okay it's nothing fancy um, and just put in something like uh, page with no title okay and then I save it now before I save and before I edit my page what I'll do is I'll come down here you see that where it says the title alright I'm just gonna delete that okay I'm good to go so now that the page no title PHP is saved and I have made sure that this part is on the top of the file and it's in the folder so now when I go back to my pages uh, I would click on you can click on quick edit and you can click on default where it see that page with no title click that update now again I want to show you this I have my page title here my page title is not gone alright and then I reload this page and there you go uh, I have my navigation back but the about uh, title is not on the very top of the page and therefore achieving what I wanted to do. All right, I hope you found this video useful. Come visit me at Tech Based Marketing uh, or come say hi to me on my blog techbasedmarketing.com forward slash blog and I hope to talk to you soon.